Hi, I'm Rob Harris and this is ACM. I'm a guitarist with a band called Jamiroquai. I also work as a session guitar player. Uh, I've recorded with artists and toured with artists like Gary Newman, Kylie Minogue, Robbie Williams, Duke Dumont. I've recorded with Katy Perry, quite a few things. It was just like it should, like the intro bit. So is that actually guitar playing? That, that actually is a vocal. It's a vocal. He was up late one night, he got this new box. This was back when we made the Funk Odyssey album. A new box arrived in the studio called a TC Helicon, and it's a voice processor. And they were recording something, and he had this sort of almost like a Barry White effect on his voice. And he went, boom, boom, wah, 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 like that. That was it, just did it once. And then he went, boom, 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 boom. And then they put the tape away. Producer, was one day a producer called Mike Spencer when we were doing the next album, Dynamite, he was just sifting through this dat tape going, what's on here? And most of it is a load of rubbish, him telling jokes with like high squeaky voices. <laughs> and he went, and then this little riff came out, he bum 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 like that. And the producer went, that's pretty cool. He transferred it into Pro Tools, got the drummer and the percussionist in, cut it into a loop, they did the beat and we then built the song from that thing, it can come from anywhere. One of the things I focused on today was about how to construct guitar parts whilst recording, thinking about how the guitar will fit into a track, trying to create hooks for the guitar, just little melodic moments. One of the first guitarists that I heard about being a session guitar player was a, a chap, a British guy called Alan Murphy who was a session guitarist from the 80s, who was an amazing player. Also, I then from that, I picked up on people like Steve Lukather, Larry Carlton, uh, Jay Graydon, Dean Park. Those were all in the session world, Tommy Tedesco as well. But also Alan Holdsworth, Jimi Hendrix, Mike Stern, Scott Henderson, lots of, lots of great players that I kind of listen to help me learn things. I do a lot of things where if I'm doing an acoustic thing or, or electric thing, I do this a lot, but I'll get to the chorus and I'll go, rather than, you know, the rest of the songs like. I'll do a back scrape to announce, hi, the chorus is here and then I'll get back to the rhythm and that they'll go, oh yeah, it was great, I love the way you did that chorus. And it's just little things like that, thinking, well, what does the drummer do every time he gets to a chorus? It's a cymbal. So why don't I treat the guitar like, a, you know, get a little bit more top end out of the guitar by go, playing up near the bridge. It's just little things like that. Memorable places that I've played. I really enjoy playing in Australia. Uh, it's a great place, great audiences there. South America is great. Japan is a really great place to play. All around Europe, you know, lo lots of places have their different vibes. The audience have different vibes. South America, they go crazy. Is it? They're always a great, fun audience to play to. Someone that I've, I listen to a lot is a, a player called Blake Mills. He is a guitar player, but he's also a producer. He, he really knows how to put a song together himself. He's a great composer but he plays guitar in a way that you don't kind of listen to any technique from him. You're just listening to the music that he makes. So I would, I would suggest people have a listen to him. And this is my first time here. It looks really, looks really great. Nice bunch of students. Really, you know, it's a great facility. Really exciting place to be. Thank mm -hmm. you.